So on this slide, we want to talk about Lefschetz fixed point theorem. So the theorem idea is very simple. So the theorem is about finite simplical complex. So you take a finite simplical complex X and you have a map F which takes X to X. The Lefschetz number of this map is non-zero, then F has a fixed point. So now we should write this down what I have just said. You can also find it on page 179 of Hatcher. So I'm just writing down the theorem. So again if X is a finite simplical complex or it is a retract of a finite simplical complex. and F is a map which takes space X to itself and the Lefschetz number of this map is non-zero. So then F has a fixed point. A very important remark here which I want to make is that compactness hypothesis is very essential. Yeah, you know a finite simplical complex is compact and uh, this hypothesis is, is essential for the theorem to hold. Now first of all a remark uh, that uh, uh, why compactness of finite simplical comp complex itself is important. Now every compact or a locally contractible space, so take a space which can be contracted and this compact space can be embedded in Rn for some n, then that compact space, compact contractible space is nothing but a retract of a finite simplical complex. Yeah, so this is very important because it puts some meat behind uh, the idea of finite simplical complexes. So let us write this down. So examples would include compact manifolds, finite CW complexes. Yeah, so both compact manifolds and finite CW complexes yeah, are locally contractible spaces that can be embedded in Rn. Yeah, and they are retracts of finite simplical complexes. So coming to the point, the idea is this, this compactness hypothesis is extremely important for the theorem to hold. So we will show this by an example. We will show that Lefschetz number for some map F is non-zero, say for example it is 1. Still this map F does not have a fixed point, yeah our theorem says that uh, if the Lefschetz number is non-zero then the map will have a fixed point and here we will show that the Lefschetz number is 1 but the map does not have a fixed point. So that is precisely because this compactness will fail. So first we draw the space. Yeah. So the space is there are two concentric circles obviously these circles are compact but these circles are connected with a copy of R1 yeah which is so overall it is not compact yeah because of the copy of a spiral of R1 going between these two circles so once I draw it it will be clear so this there is a spiral R between these two circles which connects them So let us draw it.
So this is the first circle. Then there's a concentric circle inside it. And then we have a copy of R1 between them. So notice that local properties are extremely important here. Okay, so the two ends of R are connected to these two concentric circles. So uh, now we have to describe the map F from X to X. So you take some rotation, yeah? So if you take a rotation, like it's just a small rotation, then you can obviously see that there are no fixed points. Yeah, but the left shift's number is non-zero, yeah? So it is equal to Euler characteristic. So first notice that the left shift's number is equal to Euler characteristic. That is precisely because map F is homotopic to identity. So these two circles contribute zero. Why is that? Because a single circle consists of a point which will contribute one and then minus one will come from the one cell of the circle. So you take two circles individually, one minus one first circle, one minus one second circle, that will give you zero. But a single line is equivalent to a point. So it contributes one. Now if the space is equivalent to a point as a homology group, so the so when we compute homology groups for space X, they are the same as a point. So you basically in the dimension zero you have integers and in all other dimensions you have zero. So obviously that would mean that the left shift's number of this map would be 1 and therefore every map f from x to x has a fixed point. Notice that we always take this as modulo torsion. Yeah, so this was described in the first slide when we talked about how to convert morphism or homomorphism between abelian groups to the corresponding uh, induced homomorphism. Yeah, so finitely generated abelian group to induce homomorphism. Now let us talk about an example. Yeah, so take N as even. You can see the homology groups. This we have computed before. So the torsion free group is only integers. So this space HKRPN is equivalent to a point as homology group. Yeah, if you take out these torsion groups, so the only non zero homology group remains at dimension zero. So any map F from RPN to RPN will have a fixed point. So in terms of, so I'm just write this down, RPN is equivalent to a point in terms of torsion-free homology groups.
so now give a, let us give an example of n odd so let us give an example of n odd where there is no fixed point So the following map, as you see, it's uh, so yeah. First, notice that R P two K minus one has two K points, and then you can see the map. Yeah. So this, the exact proof, comes from using eigenvalues. But as you can see, this will not have a fixed point. 